Cake on the mic, cake on the mic, cake on the mic, cake on the mic. People, that's the intro. Sacramento, Sacramento, California, born and raised. And Antelope is where I spend most of my days. Talk bad about my team, you must be a clown. This is Keek on the mic, so you know you better bear down. Bear down. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Like always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. So on today's episode of Keek on the Mic, I have an update about Justin Fields. And the report out of Chicago is this. Latest Camp Buzz proves that Justin Fields may actually be the guy. And obviously, the Chicago Bears are now a week and a half into training camp, and some people are still aren't sure where to stand on Justin Fields. And obviously, Fields is working in a brand new offense under Luke Getze, and he has provided some really nice highlight plays in this new offense already. But there have also been some miscues on this offense, which rightfully so, this has been expected, especially when you're learning a brand new offense. Most media, mostly from the outside of Chicago media, um, will tell you that he still hasn't stacked together good days. They say it has been a mixed bag of good days and some bad days, which once again, when you're learning a brand new offense, that is to be expected. The good news, though, for us Bears fans, and this is going to be good for you guys here, I was really excited to hear about this news, is that coaches continue to insist that he's made strides from where he was last year, which that's really good to hear because now he is the unquestioned starter for the Chicago Bears, the unquestioned leader of the Chicago Bears where he comes into camp and he gets all the reps. So that's really good that the coaches have already seen those little strides from Justin Fields because that's what they really want to see is those little strides um, from last year year. And to add to this, Josh Schroke of NBC Sports Chicago has attended every single practice of training camp and he shared Fields' progress on Unfiltered with David Kaplan and Schroke states, while Justin Fields hasn't been perfect, he's easily been the best thing at training camp this year, performing well despite poor protection and receivers struggling to catch the ball. And as a Bears fan, you absolutely love to hear stuff like this. Obviously, Josh Schroep had has been um, at every single Bears training camp practice, and he's been giving constant, pretty good updates uh, on not only Justin Fields, but the entire entirety of this Chicago Bears football team. So thank you, uh, Josh Schroep, for that much-needed update. But obviously, you love to hear things like this. And obviously, we talked a lot about this early in early episodes um, earlier in training camp about about this certain topic, about Justin Fields, about being able to elevate everyone around him. Obviously, it's still a work in progress. Ryan Poles is still building this team around Justin Fields. And by no means, no one said that this process, process is going to be pretty. Going back to learning a brand new offense, there are a lot of people on this football team learning a brand new scheme, much like Justin Fields. The only person that really has his offense down is Equinemia St. Brown. And that's because he already understands the offense because he played in Green Bay where Luke Getze is bringing the scheme from. So we understand that there is going to be a learning curve, but there has been multiple reports and updates on Bears training camp saying that the receivers have had a tough start to training camp. Obviously, you do get these reports occasionally saying, oh, that was a nice deep ball from Fields to Fields to Vilas Jones, or that was a nice throw from Fields to Darnell Mooney. But it seems that the defense has been winning more of the days than the offense has been winning. Just put it that way. So we do have to understand that there is going to be a learning curve. There are going to be struggles, and that is okay. That is totally okay. But something that I kind of want to talk about here on the podcast is that the sign of any good quarterback is the ability to function in difficult circumstances. And at the moment, that's exactly what Justin Fields is doing. Fields has been able to function throughout training camp under difficult circumstances. So what you've been hearing is that, yeah, it Justin Fields may not be stacking the days, but it seems like Justin Fields is having a lot more good days rather than bad days. And just like I mentioned earlier in the podcast, the coaches have seen the strides because at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure that's all Bears fans care about is 
Justin Fields and if he develops from year one to year two. Obviously, I'll say this till I'm blue in the face. There was a lot of Bears fans out, Bears fans out there that, of course, we want to see our team win. But as long as Justin Fields takes that step from year one to year two, we will count that as a winning year because we understand that from 23, 2023 and on, that's where the fun will probably begin to happen. That's where we can start adding real talent around just Fields. That's where we'll be back in the first round in the NFL draft. That's where Ryan Poles can possibly actually start building to what we already have here in Chicago and actually start building around Justin Fields. And I think at this point, I think we can all agree that Justin Fields seems to be doing his job. He is working hard learning this new offense. It's getting to the point where Justin Fields already probably knows his offense so well that he is calling out other offensive players. And many, many teammates are, are, have already said that, yeah, Justin Fields calls us out. And obviously we don't take it personal because we're all trying to get better. We're all trying to learn this new offense. We are trying to perfect this new Luke Getze offense. Number two, he is being a good, le- a good leader. And that goes off my first point, right? He calls out guys. He's not being disrespectful. That is him being a good leader. And most importantly, he is showing the coaches why he is the guy. Once again, the coaches, there's been multiple reports saying that the coaches love what they see so far and that they truly think that Justin Fields is the guy, which that is great news because once again, the Bears can be 3-14 and this year. They can be super bad this year. But as long as Justin Fields has a good year, which is possible, Justin Fields could still have a good year and the Bears can be bad. But as long as Justin Fields does good, for most Bears fans, that is a good year for, for us. So at this point, I don't think it's about whether Fields can be good. I think we all know that Fields has the tools to be good. Under this new Luke Getzey offense, um, that's going to cater to his strengths. We all understand that we think that he will take that mini jump, right, from last year. I think he will be better than last year. It is about whether the Bears pieces around him can step up. So, for example, can the offensive line give him enough enough time? Obviously, with the Tevin Jenkins drama, now they're still trying to shovel this offensive line, right? So we have Braxton Jones probably starting a left tackle. He's a, he's a fifth-round rookie, right? Then you have there's multiple shifting pieces on this offensive line. So the, can the offensive line give him enough time? And another thing, can his receivers catch the ball and make plays for him? Once again, I go back and I've been hearing a lot of things from this training camp that the receivers have had struggles um, catching the football. And I understand it's early in camp, so I'm not going to stress about it too much, but they do need to do a better job to make sure they are stepping up for their quarterback and and you can even put in and put in perspective that yeah you have Cole Komet there's been multiple uh reports saying that Cole Komet looks really good this year of course you have David Montgomery right of course you have Darnell Mooney that looks really good but at the moment we need those guys to step up this year and that also correlates to my first point can the offensive line give Justin Fields enough time if the offensive line is just as bad as last year or even worse it won't matter It won't matter because he won't have enough time to get the ball to his weapon. So all of these things play a factor for Justin Fields. And at the end of the day, in my hearts of hearts, I do believe that Justin Fields can take the next step and be good this year. I think he will take a step from year one to year two. But I think beyond that, beyond this year, right, if Justin Fields wants to be a star, then you need to understand that you need the people around you to step up, right? Uh, And everyone around them has to do their job. And like I said, it's going to be a learning curve. Everyone is learning the same new offense that Justin Fields is, right? It's going to take some time to build that chemistry. And hopefully they build that chemistry within these three preseason games leading up to week one against the San Francisco 49ers. That's the hope. But we do have to understand that there may be some growing pains even in week one, two, three, four, five. Who knows? But it's all part of the process. But for Justin Fields to take that next step from year two to year three, right, and and be that star of the Chicago Bears, the franchise guy, right? And I think we all know that he's the franchise guy, but you guys kind of understand where I'm going with this. For him to take that step of stardom, the best quarterback Chicago Bears have ever seen in their franchise history, 
He's going to need players around him. And obviously, we say this, I say this all the time on the podcast, Ryan Poles is not done building. But I just want you to understand that I do believe that Justin Fields will take a step from year one to year two. But for him to be a star, everyone around him needs to elevate their game as well. So the good news is that I truly feel that Justin Fields' hard work over the offseason is paying off. I feel that even if the Bears don't have a good year, I do feel like Justin Fields will have a good year. So that's good news for Bears fans. Um, But overall, I'm just really excited to watch a Bears football game. Obviously, the first preseason game is August 13th. 13th against the Kansas City Chiefs, um, where the starters will get good reps this preseason. Um, so we will get a little glimpse of this offense. I'm pretty sure Luke Getze won't show a lot, uh, but it will get a little glimpse of this offense. But overall, um, I'm excited to hear these positive updates um, on Justin Fields. And it's not all pretty. I'm not sitting here saying it's all pretty, but it's good to also get these positive updates that Justin Fields is moving along in the right direction. Before I let you guys go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms and make sure you share this episode of Kick on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. But other than that, I'll be back for an all new Bears podcast right here on Kick on the Mic. Thanks, guys, and bear down. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe because I be on it 